these reclaimed decking board supports. They're uh, five and three quarters by inch and three quarters. Uh, I want to make some chunky wood wheelbarrow planters. Uh, so now I've got the endless task of uh, denailing, de screwing them all. I've denailed all the timber, so now I need to cut it at an angle. I'm going to build the uh, trough first. So I'm going to cut it at an angle along the lines of that. Keep them all the same. Right, I've got all the pieces cut. Now because that's going to sit, going to sit at an angle like that, it means we're not going to have a flat surface to screw a bottom onto. So I find the best way of doing that is to get the angle and just adjust the blade. That's a 15 degree angle so the blade is now the same as that. So then we could run that through uh, which is going to put the same angle along the bottom as what we've got on here. So when you've got the angles on, when I screw that together, it's going to be a nice flat surface. Now the corners are flush, I'm going to screw, glue and screw some uh, pallet wood down to the bottom of the base. Right, I've trimmed the corners off, uh, so now it's just the inevitable Hours of sanding. Right, that's the trough all sanded. Uh, these edges that were stuck up, I've just feathered them out. All of that. That can sit and dry. For the arms, or the handles, I'm going to rip this down the middle and just screw it up underneath. For the handles, I'm going to screw that bit to that bit, glue and screw it. So I can put a curve around there and shape that into a handle. Something along the lines of that. Right, now I've got the cutter shape in here. So I'm on the lines of that. As normal, if you've seen any of my videos before, I'm going to cut that out. And the piece that I cut out, I can use then use that as a template for the other arm and maybe the bottom. I've cut them to a rough shape. Now I'm going to sand them down to get shape I want. This old scaffold board, I'm going to use this to cut the wheels out of. Uh, I'm just going to use this lid as a template. I've marked the centre out. Uh, I'm going to mount this, uh, I don't know what you call it, I think it's for doing blanks on, uh, on my lathe. My lathe's not brilliant, it's a uh, supermarket cheapo. Once you've mounted this onto your blank, on this you just screw it on. I don't know much about lathe turning. I bought the lathe about four years ago and I haven't really done much with it. So I'm definitely no expert. I've mounted the stands. 
So I'm going to drill through now, four inch screw, go through there and into the main frame of the trough. Same at the front, flip it over, a couple of screws on the inside. I'd already drilled the holes once, but I drilled them at the wrong angle, so I had to drill them again. The only thing left now is some stain. Of course, I'll be using old engine oil again. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that's my favourite. I always think old engine oil looks great, especially when it's been weathered, it turns into a nice brown, dark brown colour. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give us a thumbs up, it keeps me motivated and if you want to see me in here some more, subscribe, thanks for watching.